Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're transplanting. Look at the difference between these celeries that I put in these little plastic cups because I ran out of space in the tray. And now look at the difference between that and that. I and my peppers are dying. These peat pots, my plants don't like them. I will never use them again. Plus we have some herbs here and uh, maybe some flowers too. Let's get busy. Okay, I have some larger pots too that I've washed from last year that if, if all goes well, my flowers, like my zinnias and stuff, and, uh, can go into one of those pots. I'm using my uh, organic Pro Mix Premium. First off, um, I'm going to do the celery. Uh, here is my mixture of, let's do the portions. One cup of ground eggshells, one cup of dried coffee grounds, a half a cup of Epsom salt, and one dried banana peel. And it's all ground up. And so far, um, it looks like the tomatoes are really loving it. So let's take these all out of here. So right now, I'm just going to put some of this new Pro Mix in here. I'm going to plant them in, right in the plastic tray. Why? Because it holds the moisture. Celery needs moisture on a constant basis. And now I'm just going to put in a handful of my, a couple of handfuls of my coffee grounds and eggshells. See, these are not looking healthy. Look at the difference between these, which I used as an emergency temp thing compared to these. Look at the difference. They'll get their chance. But celery is one of those things that you can bury almost up to the leaves because they will continue to grow. I'm actually gonna put a few pea pots. This pot has a lot of holes in it. I'm gonna put a few pea pots in the bottom um, and then start filling it with dirt from the pea pots so that I can transplant maybe my rosemary or something into that pot. Watch how much happier they become. Alrighty. I am going to put some of my stuff in here. And I'm going to take out all of my marigolds. And these are getting little buds, so I'm pinching them off. And in here is going my, these are my hollyhocks. I got three of them. Now I want you guys to take a look at these pepper plants compared to these ones. And these were just in this shallow container. So I blame the peat pots. A 
Let's water this and put it back over on the table. This is my basil. And it's getting a haircut. All right, these are those multicolored peppers. And look how much more beautiful they did than the others. This, if they all grow, will easily fill two beds of leeks. All right, so here is, those are some flowers back there. There's all my cabbages. Look how beautiful my cabbages are doing. And we have, these are all the peppers. And these, oops, you need to stand up a bit better, buddy. These are my celery. You watch these come back now. And look how much better my tomatoes. This is how they were. I need more soil still. And this is how they are now. There is my rosemary, more marigolds, cilantro, cumin, tomatoes, Spanish onions, leeks, basil, and parsley. And that's not the stuff that gets sown by seed into the garden. Isn't that beautiful? And here's my garden plan for the backyard. Now, it's been scribbled out in places and I've kind of color coded it, but I've got four beds of pole beans that I'm going to put build trellises like I did for the spaghetti squash last year. I've got three beds for peppers, one for celery, one for garlic. Yes, I still got dirt under my nails. I'm only, I'm gonna listen to Joe and I'm only gonna plant one carrots this year since normally I can get them really cheap. I have one, two, three, four beds for cabbage, two beds for my Spanish onions, two beds for my leeks, and one, two, three beds for zucchini. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying that transplanting took me half a day. It's going to take me an entire weekend to plant the garden this year. I can just feel it. And that's with help. But it'll get done and we'll have bounty, right? Mwah! Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.